Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and I am super excited to talk about the date difference function which comes under date and time function in SQL. So let's go and see what exactly is this date difference function. So this date different function returns the difference between two date value based on the interval specified. So suppose you have a table here subscriber base and you want to know that what is the average age of a subscriber in your entire database. So in order to calculate the average age either you have to have an age column or you have to have date of birth and then what you can do is that you can take the current date and minus it with the date of birth and then you can calculate the age. So in our subscriber based data you can see that we have this date of birth column and we don't have any age column here. So what we can do is that we can simply calculate the age and then we can calculate the average age of our subscribers. So to do that what we'll do is that we'll simply write current date here which gives us on which date we are running this query or what is the exact date in your system on which you are running your query. After this current date what we'll do is that we'll simply put this date difference column this date difference column and in this date difference column the first parameter will be the current date and then the second parameter will be this date of birth okay and let's keep only the subscriber id and date of birth of that subscriber id and now if i run this query i am getting all of those subscriber id their date of birth and their current date here as well as the date difference so you can see that all of these date difference in my data is same reason being is that i have created a sample data in this subscriber base where i kept the date of birth same for each and every subscriber now in order to calculate the age what you can do is that you can simply divide this date difference value by 365 days now if I run this query you will see that we have 37.49 so we can assume that the subscriber 1 is 37 years old okay so in this data each and every subscriber has 37 years of age reason being I have this sample data and date of birth is same so let's take the average of the age of each and every subscriber so what we can do here is that we can simply use this query as a subquery and then we can calculate the average age so we'll put select average of this expression from and then we'll open this bracket and we'll close this bracket and we'll keep an alias as a or what we can do here is that we can give this particular expression a name or as an alias of a column suppose let's keep age and then we'll simply put average of age here and we have to remove this semicolon from here let's run this query now we are getting the average age of our entire subscription base which is 37 so this is how you can use this date difference to calculate the difference between two dates. If you want to learn more about SQL then you can click on the right hand side of this video or if you are interested in Excel you can click on the left hand side of this video. Happy learning and see you in the next video.